Okay, very good. Everybody is present. Now, before we start our lesson, let us first recall our classroom rules. Stephanie, what is our first rule? Okay, sit properly. What else? Be quiet. Listen attentively and cooperate. Now, let's start your day with a game. Do you want to play a game? Okay, very good class. Now, I have here jumbled letters. And I want you to arrange them in order to find the given word. Mamre, what do you think is the first hidden word? Okay, very good. It is mutualism. What about the second word? Gemma. Yes, it is parasitism. What about the third word? Abi. Okay, very good. It is commensalism. And the fourth one. What do you think is the hidden word? Sherry. Okay, predation. And lastly, what do you think is the last leading word? Mayume. Okay, very good. It is competition. Now we have just uncovered the five ecological relationships which are mutualism, parasitism, commensalism, competition, and prediction. So today we will know more about this relationship. Now I have here some pictures and I want you to describe what you can see in the image. Jericho, how can you describe the first picture? Okay, very good. The bee gets nectar and honey from the flower. What about the second picture? Stephanie, yes, you are correct. The leech is sucking blood from human. What about the third picture? Mamre, okay, very good. The frog uses the leaf for protection. The fourth picture, Harvey, what do you think? What can you see in the image? Correct. The bee, the beer eats beef fish. What about the last picture? Damon, okay, very good. The wild dogs are fighting for food. Now let's take a look again on the pictures that I have shown. So, do you think they have relationship? Okay, very good. Why? It is because each organism have its role and they interact with each other. So, what do you think is the relationship called? Sherwin. Okay, very good. It's ecological relationship. Now, I want you to group yourselves into five. So, each group has different tasks to accomplish. So, the first group you will go into demonstrate or present parasitism relationship through role playing. For the second group, you will go into write a poem that demonstrate or describe the, the mutualism relationship. And the third group, you will go into have a newscasting or TV reporting that demonstrate competition. And the fourth group, you will go into Create a poster slogan that demonstrates prediction. And lastly, the group five, you will go in to compose a song that describes commensalism relationship. So other instructions of each group will must collaborate and consolidate ideas to come up with two to three minute presentation. So for the for the time like alumni, you have five minutes for brainstorming or sharing your, of your ideas and another five minutes for practice. So you will assign one team leader and one member that will explain your presentation, what is all about your presentation after performing it. Lastly, you will be rated according to the designated rubrics for each group. So before you start your activity, let's remember the guidelines. First is be cooperative. Second, show respect to your group mates. Don't disturb other groups. And lastly, follow directions correctly. So are you ready? So you can start now your activity. Okay, is everybody finished? So the group one will not present your work, followed by the other groups. Okay, very good class. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for an amazing and excellent work. Now, you have demonstrated and described the five ecological relationship. So this relationship, it describes the interactions between and among organisms 
within their environment. So these interactions may have positive or negative or neutral effects on other organisms' ability to survive and reproduce. So what do you think is the relationship of? Okay, very good. It's ecological relationship. So ecological relationship has two types. First is the symbiotic relationship. So symbiotic relationship comes from two Greek words that means with and living. So it describes a close relationship between two organisms from different species. So it is sometimes but not always benefited to both parties. So for non-symbiotic relationship, other relationships that are not symbiotic. So for example, competition and reduction. Now, let's go back to the picture that I've shown earlier. So this is an example of symbiotic relationship. Mamre, what is, what organisms that interact in the picture? Very good, the bee and the bee and the flower. So how can you describe the bee? Okay, very good, the bee is benefited with the flower. How about the flower? Okay, very good, the flower is also benefited. That's why it is called, this type of relationship is called mutualism. Mutualism, both organisms benefit with each other. So benefit can be for food, shelter, and for survival. So the next type of relationship, Stephanie, how, what organisms interact in the picture? Okay, very good, the frog and the leaf. So how can you describe the frog? So the frog is benefited because he used the leaf as protection. What the leaf? How can you describe the leaf? Yes, the leaf is not benefited nor harmed. That's why this symbiotic relationship is called commensalism. So it describes a relationship in which one species benefit but the other is unaffected. Another symbiotic relationship, Mamre, what, how, what organisms that interact in the picture? Okay, very good. The leech and the human. So how can you describe the leech? So the leech is being benefited with the human blood. How about the human? So the human is being harmed. That's why this symbiotic relationship is called parasitism. So parasitism, it is when one organism which is the parasite gets its nutrients from the living host that harmed by the interaction. Now let's move on to the non-symbiotic relationship. So we have here predation. So predation, it is an interaction where an animal kills and eat the other. The second type of non-symbiotic relationship is competition. Competition is a relationship that occurs when two organisms compete for the same resources. Now, in order to measure how far have you learned from this lesson, we will have a short quiz. So this quiz contains only five items, so I will give you five minutes to answer. Okay, time's up. You cannot pass your paper. Now, for your assignment, in your respective home, observe and draw a pair of organisms that shows a certain symbiotic relationship and write your description in the interaction below your door. Okay, did you get it fast? Very good. So is there any questions or clarifications? None, okay. This is the end of our lesson for today. So see you next week.